I tell you, I this is why I think this is why I'm a big fan of yours because I think you are the ideal person to to write and present this book because you said it. You have a bat, you know, you're a recovering investment banker. You've <laughs> seen the other side, but uh, you know, when you talk, you're down to earth. You you're not oh, uh, you know, you don't speak in wonkish terms, and you're not a the head of one of these five hundred one c threes like the Cato or the Iron Rain Institute, which I'm sure which do great all great work. You're someone who's walked in the shoes. You felt it. And in fact, when you read the dedication to your father, you could feel like this, man, this is something really near and dear to you. And you feel for, for, for small business. This is not just data on, on, a, uh, on a chart for people to see. No, it's true. I mean, my, my blessing and my curse is that I am uh, an empath and a problem solver. <laughs> <laughs> and a helper, like all in one, which is like a bad combination. So I do, I feel very deeply and it, it really weighs on my shoulders. And I, I think coming from a blue collar family and you know, having a, my dad grew up in like very much poverty on the West side of Chicago and, you know, changed his lot in life through great choices and hard work and created an opportunity to the point where like I'm successful beyond even my wildest dreams. And it's like, I don't feel like it's because I'm special in any way or like, you know, like the chosen one. It's like, it's just, that's the opportunity that, that is there if you want to take it. And if people tell you that you can take it. And that's what my dad did. He was always like, like, go, go get it. Like, go get it. There's, you know, not, there's no limit. There's, it was an abundance mentality. And there's so many people who were like, no, that's, you could only one person can be successful. And there's only this pie. And so like, I just take it very personally and I don't like seeing other people, um, you know, like I said, like, I'm not a power and control person. I just like, I'm really excited about all the things that I've seen. I want to preserve that opportunity for other people. I think it's really cool. And unfortunately, you know, we're the only example of that in the world and it's under threats. And so if it's not us and we don't preserve that opportunity, like where's that opportunity going to exist? And I don't think it's to the betterment of anybody. So, you know, <laughs> so, so yes, yeah, so that sort of like personal aspect of like, you know, let's, let's get everybody, you know, in like everyone can succeed. It doesn't take away from anyone to have more people participating. It's a good thing. Um, is just sort of my philosophy. And it sounds like that fortunately showed through in the, in the writing. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you like this content and want to hear other things like it, Head on over to the website at blackmarketleadership.com. That's blackmarketleadership.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast and you can even create a free member's profile. 